everybody. This this is Lauren on the support team at Triple C. Thanks for joining us on this webinar today. Uh, the topic of the webinar is multi-event bookings. Um, so what I'd like to do today is just shed some light for you on some of our newest features that have to do with managing a booking that has more than one event. Um, so you may have seen around the site a couple of new buttons. Um, for example, this new booking button in the upper right hand corner and also this bookings tab. Um, first thing I want to say is that Bookings have always been built into the way that you use Triple Seat. Every time you're creating an event, even if it's just a one day event taking place in one room, starting and ending at a certain time, when you've created that event, you've by default created a booking for that event to live within. The booking is really just a, a place, a container to hold events. Now that can be one event or it can be multiple events that span um, a number of days or weeks or even months. So um, what we've done is we've enhanced some of the features to make managing those bookings that do have more than one event just a lot easier for you. So the way I'm going to explain this is I'm going to create a booking and I'm going to put a couple of different events into it. Um, now, keep in mind throughout this, if your style of booking or your venue, um, the most common way to do it is to just book an event, one event, one day, one time in one room, you don't need to change anything about the way that you're doing your event booking. Nothing has changed for you. You can proceed as normal and carry on with your single events. Um, so this is really geared towards people that are going to find this useful. People that have groups coming in like conferences or weddings or meetings um, or maybe a club that meets every Tuesday for a couple of months. So anyone that has um, multiple events that are related to each other like that. So again, if you're just doing a one-off event, you know, a baby shower, for example, on a Sunday afternoon, just carry on as normal. Um, this is only something that you need to think about or would want to think about if the events, um, you've got more than one of them. Um, and, you know, say, for example, you're wanting to send out one contract to your client that covers three days worth of events and you want to send them one invoice that has the totals for all three events on it. So that's what we're doing today. So let me jump right in and create a booking. So I'm going to go right over here to new booking. Click on that. And first thing I'm going to do is name my booking and put in a date range. So um, let's call this one Lauren's Wedding Weekend. And this is going to take place um, from Friday, April 19th over a couple of days to the Sunday the 21st. Um, primary location, if you've got more than one venue in your group and you're going to have some events that are actually taking place at a couple of your properties, you know, you can pick a primary and have your events take place at another location. But I'm going to say for this purpose that everything's happening at Blue Water Restaurant. Um, the owner is the same as the event, whoever's creating the event. Um, and of course, we need a contact. So let's do, let's just plug in a contact here. So that's my booking. It's a wedding weekend and it's a date range of a Friday to a Sunday. Now I'm gonna plug in a couple of different events within that booking. So first one is going to be um, Lauren's rehearsal dinner. That's gonna be on the Friday night. Start that up late afternoon. So Friday night, um, I can just like when I'm booking an event on an event booking screen, I can put in some details here, set up, tear down, all that. I'm gonna do a quick guest count here. Um, and event type is gonna be dinner. And maybe I'm gonna label this just a prospect for now. And of course I need to plug it into a room. So let's go with dining room A, okay? So there's my very first event. That's Friday night's rehearsal dinner. Second event, add another event. And this one is going to be Lauren's wedding reception. So this is gonna be on Saturday night. So that's the next day, the 20th. We're gonna call that from 5.30 to 11.30, same thing I can put in setup, tear down time. Let me just plug in an event type and a quick guest count. It's also gonna be a prospect. And I also need a room, so let's call this on the Tuscany room and the vintage room. Okay, 
Um, and just like when you're booking events, if you have custom fields that pop up, you can plug those in at this stage too. And now let's just do one more event. Um, I could do another event. I could do an event that's occurring also on Saturday. Like I could do an after party on um, Saturday after this reception ends, or I could do something like a, a farewell brunch on Sunday morning. So this event is going to be Sunday. That's a breakfast event. Same thing, a couple quick details just to plug it into my system. And there I go. So really quick, within just a matter of minutes, I've made the shell of the booking up here. I've plugged in three different events, a rehearsal dinner, a wedding the next day, and a farewell brunch on the third day. And I'm gonna hit create. And now I've booked three events in my system. Now, once you do your booking and you hit create, um, this next screen is going to look very similar to what you see when you're working on an event. So you've got some basic details and then you have tabs that you can work from. Um, the differences here are going to be, uh, for the most part, you've got this events tab. So that brings me into all of the events that are within this booking. Um, a really handy feature here is called inline editing. Um, what you can do is toggle that on and then from here I can change any of the data points about this event really quickly. Um, so say that you know uh, we're gonna go up to 75 people on that guest count. I can plug that in right here or I'm going to do um, move the room or something else on any one of my events, change the name, I can do that right in here in inline editing. So and turn that off when you're done. Um, I can also copy events in here. So that would be helpful, say if you were doing one of those conference type of um, multi event bookings where you plugged in the first day and it was a meeting at a certain date and time and you wanna just replicate that exact thing for the second day, what you could do is copy and copy the events. So if I book a meeting on day one, I would just book that once and then I go ahead and copy it for day two or day three or any subsequent days. So there's the copy events feature right there. Um, just like an event, you've got a discussion tab. So you can have a conversation with your staff or the event contact um, on the general booking level, or you can go into any of the specific events and talk to those events specifically. You have a payments tab, so you'll be able to take payments towards the entire event once you create documents, tasks, notes, and logs. So all of that is exactly the same as um, when you're booking a single event. And then the biggest feature that's new is the ability to add master documents. Um, so we have a lot of resources for you coming out about master documents and how to use them. So this is what I was talking about when I said that you'd be able to send out a contract or an invoice or something for um, the whole booking as a whole um, and take payments and all that. So we'll teach you more about that on some of our other webinars and um, videos that we have out, but you are able to add master documents. It's something that we will have to set up for you, give you a uh, form to fill out, just like your regular event document forms. So if you're interested in that, definitely let us know. You can reach out to the support team and just tell them that you wanna utilize the master documents and we'll, we'll start getting you set up on those. Um, so, from here, you also have, if you ever need to go back into the booking, just like when you're working on a single event, you have an edit button, you have an actions, you'll be able to share a guest portal with your contact for the whole booking. Um, so if you have any questions about utilizing bookings, um, feel free to reach out to us. You can search for bookings up in your search bar um, on your calendar. One of the most popular questions I get is, how does this look on the calendar? Does the whole booking show up or just the individual event? You're still going to see on your calendar, each individual event. So rather than you know seeing a booking that blocks out a couple of days, you're still going to see each individual event. The term booking really just refers to like the container that you're putting all the events into. Um, so again, any questions or if you wanna learn more, just click on help and questions in the upper right corner of your screen. You can chat with our support agents um, or you can submit a help ticket to us and we'll get right back to you. So I hope you find this helpful. Um, this is just one of many new features that we're rolling out to make it easier for you to manage multiple events at once. So um, please let us know how you like it. Have a great day.